Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Today, na Monday, number 15 day for this month of May 2023. My name na Kapo Daniel, wuna own countryman, Ambazonian FBI, Mr. No Koni, wuna welcome to another episode of our daily podcast, a program where they bring wuna the truth. It brings on meaningful information, fact-based analysis for help we as we the worker towards the journey to our freedom, to the independence of Ambazonia. Good citizens of Ambazonia across the globe, those in concentration camps, IDP centers and refugees camps across the world, welcome. Today, we we'll start with an upbeat with big news where it come from Bonge. Ambazonian freedom fighters from Bonge that don't carry out an ambush where it target a Cameroon occupation military checkpoint, neutralizing one Cameroon armed terrorist occupation forces in the process. This month have been a sweet month militarily for Ambazonia, with us counting six kills carried out by Ambazonian forces in Gokitunja, targeting the Cameroon B, their elite forces. We have also had great success in Oku, where Ambazonian forces from Bui joined with their brothers in Oku to carry out an ambush against the Cameroon terrorist forces. The operation was led by Colonel Trista and Boy Na Boy. Ambazonian fighters also answer present with General Saigon with an operation, a second operation, that used explosive targeting a convoy of Cameroon terrorist military forces, killing four of them. Not picking them. Yeah, not in that. Not that food and that. Five of May. Day to you, not five of May. Who showed them something? Yeah, from me. Light down. Light down. Light down. Ambazonian forces have demonstrated and recorded presence all across our national territory. Even the Bui warriors as well launch an attack targeting the Cameroon terrorist forces within the great state of Bui. Now see that dog there. Now see that the Republic dog there. It's General Wonyo and the Scott. Now see them. General Wonyo life and the Scott. General Wonyo operation was also successful. A total of seven Ambazonian attacks against the Cameroon terrorist forces that have led to the death of over 14 Cameroon occupation military men in Ambazonia. They must leave our land or we will make them live in body bags. Ambazonian must resist the Cameroon occupation, must reject any form of slavery upon our people. And we had warned our people about the program that they called Peace and Development. We saw the launching in Bamenda with few bike men that have been imported from Buda. That stage, a small parade in Bamenda that ended up in Upstation, where the Cameroon military bases are based. We have seen the same program being replicated in Boya. In this time, in this time in a large scale, with all the vampires, the CPDM canker worms streaming in from Yaoundé for follow-up to do propaganda with the so-called normalcy agenda that they are pushing down on our people. There is nothing normal or normalcy going on in Ambazonia where we have a bat snake in our house, a military force that can kill anybody anywhere at any time without any question, with total impunity and support of the colonial state in Yaoundé. Normalcy, where Baipanya have been told to be evacuated by the Cameroon occupation forces, villages are still being burned. Extrajudicial killing have been normalized within our national territory. 
Ambazonian forces are still on the move and our people are resisting the Cameroon occupation on our Monday ghost town, demanding for one and only thing, their right of self-determination for an independent homeland, Ambazonia. Fellow Ambazonians, I want to come again for Wuna to address the ongoing issues the way it happened. I don't tell our people, say, I don't take a mantle, a public engagement, never to come and lie to you. That is a mantle I took upon myself for our people. I will never come and deliberately deceive our people because I know that the only way we can win this war is by telling the truth. Not every time, of course, we are not stupid. But when it comes to our own people and things that are very critical to them, the truth must be told because I believe only the truth can set us free. To resign from a group is not a problem and it pains me each time I have to be forced to come and explain this thing, but I will do so as, as many times as it is necessary for me to protect our struggle from being blindsided. I've had tons of conversation with our people and people who are worried, who are saying, Capo Daniel, you introduce us to this egg of sea. You make us to trust Dr. Cho Ayaba. Now you don't leave them saying, we will go now for Usai. We will follow now in which group. Because in their mindset, that is all they know. So one day they ask and say, Capo Daniel, you didn't you one, so now you and who them, they we will know because one, we don't know how to do. I want to tell our people them say, I, have developed for you the biggest network of Ambazonian civil society, the biggest network of communication within our forces that can ensure proper collective approach to our struggle and legitimacy in the use and authorization of military operation and the use of Ambazonian forces across our national territory. The entire institution, I can guarantee you, whether from Group A or from Group B, knows exactly where I stand and they are 100% behind me. Of course, there are some few people who are still delusional, who are still confused, but make no mistake. I, Capo Daniel, am currently the internationally recognized voice of Ambazonia. Some people, they go to ask them, but why, how? They need to vote you on a highway we happen. Ambazonia needs to know that this our war is a war that we claim is an international war. International war are seen through the international lenses. For the international community, their interest in this war are things that amount to international interest. Each time, things that amount to international interest, whether be it in a military projection of what is happening back home or the humanitarian crisis that have been declared to be an international issue, I, Capo Daniel, have been the main person who have tackled this issue. Those responsibilities have been abandoned by all Ambazonian activists and all Ambazonian groups. So I have been seen as that person that the international community have seen as being responsible or responsible person. I had put that weight behind the egg of sea and I have withdrawn that weight behind the egg of sea because of the behavior of the egg of sea. I was thinking that they would readjust themselves, but they have failed. They have tend to blackmail. They have tend to lie telling character assassination and even tend to the way of the blue and white army, something that we saw Sako introduce into our liberation struggle. So fellow Ambazonians, I will respond to some few things. And this is the reason why. I will never come and blackmail anybody. Blackmailing means that you come and mischaracterize somebody. No, I will never do that. I will never come and make up story against anybody, but I will exercise my rights to respond. Anytime people come to blackmail me, or, or try to discredit me or try to deceive our people and this is the reason why my credibility is very important for our account for our country and our cause the mindset of our people are very important that if you allow them to be deceived to be manipulated they will end up being destroyed and their capability to come out of this struggle as a collective will be reduced so i'll always defend the integrity as a vanguard to our liberation movement the egg of sea have come out again this week and made certain statement. One, they try to clear the record. They say that this is the true record of what happened in Canada. The second one, they came out and give information to some individuals that the reason why Capo Daniel resigned is because I was cornering Cameroon delegates on the background. 
somehow <laughs> so i'll make this very clear because it's very important to our people to know the gravity of what has happened for the first time in our history we have won la republic they have finally come out of that country to negotiate internationally something they have always refused and the reason is simple because the international community forced them to do so and it was for a slim period a period that they know that joe biden was finally going to say enough to the french government and use the african summit in washington to push through an agenda that will be irreversible cameroon was cornered and they came there because they need the support of the west for the continual policy or let's say the transition of poor beer so we know for sure what was going on and we know the time lapse we won cameroon cameroon gave in for negotiation that potentially could lead to independence Cameroon accepted to release more than 1,000 prisoners who were supposed to be free today. Cameroon accepted to stop fighting the war. We could have moved this war from fighting to the negotiation table and we could have saved all the lives that are, are being dead today. Our humanitarian crisis could have been better today as I speak. But we lose those things all. And I've told our people, somehow, some people who cause this loss they want our people not to realize that we have lost anything and also for our people to be blindsided about what happened. So they have turned to blackmail. But the record is clear for everybody to see. When we came out of Can Canada, before we went to Canada, the momentum that enabled us to be able to win this war was the fact that the international community have blamed Paul Bia for the crimes that are ongoing and have heard him that there should be an accountability and Ambazonians must have a chance to discuss with la republic to come around and resolve the root causes of this struggle that has given us hope that no matter what we are doing what we are as we are fighting one day now one day la republic will be pushed somehow or another way for we can discuss the root causes of this problem all that evaporated when finally we had la republic in a room and then we were the one being seen as not being interested or prioritizing the discussion of that root cause issue that has made the international community to completely turn it back upon our struggle and they were ready to give this struggle a bad name and destroy it after that pre-talks the united nation the united states decided to accept to listen to cameroon to uplift the sanction they have given cameroon the ambazonian side was targeted the canadian banned dr chua yaba from entering into canada the Cameroon government, the people in prison that they arrested from Taraba State, who the Cameroon government did not want to sentence, they were still thinking what to do with them. They have went ahead and sentenced those people for 12 years up to 13 years. And now even in the, those people were being held in, in uh, Douala and Boya have also been sentenced. So Paul Bia have realized the international community uh, posture and is taking full advantage of what they are, they are what of their lack of support for ambazonia the americans have been so pissed off that they have come and just tell ambazonia that this is our posture that says that we will force la republic to come and sit on the table to negotiate their way out of ambazonia have been rejected they have rejected it outrightly and tell us this will never happen this is some a position america had never ever taken vis-a-vis -vis ambazonia they have pr practically rejected the leadership of dr cho lucas ayaba and so instead for uh, Ambazonian to resolve this issue or at least retrospect and see where we made the mistake and, and try to solve it, the egg of sea have decided to be lying and blackmailing. It will never work. Remember that the United Nations saw Dr. Cho Ayaba. Despite what Ambazonians are doing on social media, it did not matter to them. They look at the people who were more responsible and approached Dr. Cho Ayaba to negotiate between Cameroon and Ambazonia. Something a lot of Ambazonian people had not paid attention to. The egg of sea through Dr. Cho was discussing with the United Nations representative in Central Africa, Francoise, the, for, the former one, on Ambazonia. They were liaising between Cameroon and Ambazonia until the attack in Kumba took place and they stopped that negotiation. In, this, in those negotiations, Dr. Cho Ayaba at one point was pissed off and he worked, worked, worked out of the meeting. The reason I'm putting this thing is because of the blackmail they are giving me so that our people should know that Dr. Chua Yaba 
leadership have been rejected by the international community. A leader who walks away from the discussion table with the international community does not send the right signal, especially when you are the weaker part. A leader that goes on a Cameroon state, accept to release your prisoners, accept to go for peace, for, for, for a peaceful solution for this struggle, and you reject it and frustrate it simply because you want them to come and meet you in your back. I have never accused Ayabacho of compromising himself, but there can only be two reasons for this behavior that have seen us to lose this, the, the support we had internationally. One is that he is too hardline, that he is no longer good for Ambazonia. These are the reasons. When we accepted ceasefire in Canada, we signed it with all the groups. We had our own eternal conversation because basically we were leading the pack. The option for ceasefire was rejected by Dr. Cho Ayaba, Julius Ni, and Benedict Kwa. But I believe they were just following him because that's how he, 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 he manipulates people. I was in that group and I could not believe my eyes that we were rejecting a peace, a solution where Cameroon would stop fighting to stop hostility, knowing fully well that it is our people who are suffering. It is our people who are dying. The release of prisoners, we had participated in selecting prisoners that will be released. We expected over 1,000 people to be released. You could say that, okay, they said that they didn't, they will not release Seseko. Seseko was controversial because he had his behavior towards negotiation, going it alone without breathing even Yerima and the people within the IG in certain instances that we know was problematic. And one could say that even they don't release Seseko at this stage. It was not a bad thing. But the mindset at that moment was Ambazonian was winning. We were at the upbeat, so we cannot accept uh, ceasefire. How can you even believe your own propaganda? I am the propagandist of Ambazonia. I'm the number one propaganda for our team. And I can tell you for sure that that was not the case. But if our leaders somehow could believe that we were winning militarily, to a certain extent that we will reject a, a peace building mechanism. It means that that leader thinks that we can actually have a military victory over La Republic, which is not possible. They have come out to say that Capo Daniel, uh, Arango joined La Republic because I talked to you, we win. You people should know that this is not the first time. I will always tell you the truth. When the killing in Kumba happened and the killing in Ekondo Titi happened, I told Ambazina that this struggle will fail. When Phil Masha came up and started killing the tigers of Ambazonia, I told you people that we will fail if we don't do something. It was our ability to change the trajectory that saved us. You remember the, the Sheikh Kabi, who was the DDC of the ADF, came to me and asked me to be the spokesperson. I rejected. But I was the one who go to them and say, I want to be your, your spokesperson and work in that, fact, that, that, uh, that organization because the reason was because Dr. Cho Ayaba accepted the ban of ID card on Ground Zero. And I knew that that would be the end of this struggle because I'm in touch with Ground Zero more than anybody. It was something that would turn our population and La Republic was seizing this opportunity to use the population to overpower our struggle. That's why I joined the AGOFC to fight the hard, hard line, the type of policy that I know would turn our population into a weapon in the hands of La Republic. So there are two possibilities. Dr. Cho have been too hardline that have gone away from international thinking. This is not just my analysis. These are facts that have been presented to me that we cannot defend. There are things that our hardline faction have put forth for our liberation struggle that is not compatible with international thinking or legally uh, acceptable principle internationally and that I will present to our people. This may be the only reason Dr. Chuayaba made this mistake. He's too hardline to a fault. And this is his own mistake that can actually destroy the whole country. If I say that we will lose, we face a total loss after Canada. That's why the Americans were doing what they were doing. Pobia was doing what they were doing. If it was not the petition and my petition to the international community, remember that the international community even told the egg of sea, that it was due to the way I have packaged our struggle that have given the international community the thinking that somehow we were reasonable people. They know the type of reception I had in Canada. 
maybe those those things also touch some of the ego of the people within the organization it can be because of that too much hardline that have passed the, the mark have crossed the international community and we cannot go lo longer think that dr chul lucas ayaba uh, leadership that have failed to to change after the canada pre-talks will lead us to freedom he has been given sanctioned by the united states of america by canada if anybody think that somebody who is under sanction can lead us to freedom should turn and look omar bashir who was a president holding the sovereignty of a state being brought down and the country being destroyed because of a sanction targeted against him we must walk against away from the hard line and align ourselves with compatible policies and law internationally that can enable us to have the freedom because it is possible for us to have this independence some people say that, oh because i say that we are losing it means that i want i want to support la republic that is stupidity we must be able to see when we are winning and when we are losing if i cannot tell you when we are losing and when we are possibly going to face total loss then we will not be able to even win you people should stop this delusion that anybody who says something negative it means the person is working with la republic god forbid i have taken a vow this struggle will not be end ended because of corruption i will fight it till the last breath i have it will not stop because of corruption the people's interest must be served we will put ambazonian first and we will maximize our chances to attain independent and i intend to do just that you have heard the voice of the the the, the canadian the expert who have explained to our people why the canadian process has failed and why cameroon have withdrawn their mandate and withdraw the engagement for that peace process you have heard it from their voice so if the egg of sea that came out to lie to you that capo daniel was not the leader of the delegation that initially went to canada for the egg of sea when i was to dismiss to for them to lie all this lie they have lost even the credibility to explain anything and i will not want to overburden you to come back to you again to explain to you things that are facts because if they push this thing too much I will be producing evidence that Ambazonians will not, it will be irreversible to the image of certain people that I know and I love. So this is not personal. This is not emotional. This is national interest and the public interest. Everything is secondary. I will not allow our people to be manipulated or deceived. If mistakes have been made, the right thing to do is not to cover up those mistakes or try to scapegoat other people and try to kill people and assassinate people because you think that somehow they don't align with you politically anymore. If you are willing to start kicking out people from your organization that you had claimed that follows a charter, today you are kicking out people, threatening people, intimidating people on social media not to be able to express themselves, then you have left the struggle. The egg of sea have left the struggle and they should come back to their senses. Come back to your senses. I've not come to tell the Ambazonian people to abandon the egg of sea. I've simply point a big mistake they have made. And that mistake is a character threat that had always been there. For us to have the egg of sea, the egg of sea must accept their mistake. Stop to behave like Sako because it does not work if we have to win. Nevertheless, I commit to the Ambazonian people that we will win and the public interest of this struggle will be safe. And I have taken the primary responsibility and been recognized by all international partners including the ones that i least expect to speak for you to talk for you and to protect your interests and to advocate for you and i will do so as the leader of the ambazonian liberation movement because that is who i am align yourself or if dr cho wants to be the leader again he should repent and change because right now without that change coming from him he is done there is absolutely no way don't don't deceive yourself that dr chua yaba will be received again by the international community it will not happen again it will not happen again unless there is a drastic change which i have advised that change should be done as that change have not been done and so long as that change will not happen i will represent you and will lead the international effort to free our homeland God bless you all.